In the small town of Raven's Hollow, nestled between dense forests and steep hills, a mysterious figure haunted the dreams of its residents. People spoke in hushed tones about the silent specter that roamed the abandoned asylum on the outskirts of town. Legend had it that the asylum was once a place of unspeakable horrors, where the mentally ill were subjected to cruel experiments. The building, now dilapidated and forgotten, became a chilling reminder of the town's dark past. Nobody dared to venture near it, especially after sunset. One gloomy night, a curious journalist named Alex decided to investigate the stories surrounding the asylum. Armed with a flashlight and a notepad, Alex tiptoed through the overgrown weeds that surrounded the decaying structure. As the wind whispered through the broken windows, the air felt thick with the weight of forgotten memories. The journalist explored the asylum's eerie hallways, guided only by the dim glow of the flashlight. Faint echoes of distant footsteps and spectral whispers danced around Alex, heightening the sense of unease. Unseen eyes seemed to follow every move, and cold fingers of fear crept up the spine. As Alex approached the decrepit morgue, a sudden gust of wind extinguished the flashlight. Darkness enveloped the journalist, and a bone-chilling voice whispered, Leave this place, for the silent specter awaits. Panicking, Alex fumbled for the flashlight, the oppressive silence broken only by the distant creaking of rusty hinges. When the light flickered back to life, a ghostly figure stood before Alex. A spectral silhouette draped in tattered hospital gowns. The silent specter, with hollow eyes fixated on the intruder, let out an otherworldly moan. Paralyzed with fear, Alex couldn't move as the silent specter glided closer, its whispers growing louder. The journalist felt an icy hand on their shoulder, and a voice echoed in their mind, recounting the tortured souls that once inhabited the asylum. In a flash, the apparition vanished, leaving behind an overwhelming sense of dread. After that fateful encounter, Alex was never the same. The silent specter's haunting whispers lingered in their nightmares, a constant reminder of the unearthly horrors hidden within Raven's Hollow. In the forgotten village of Marrowbrook, a peculiar legend surrounded the mysterious dollmaker's house. Locals whispered about an ancient curse that befell anyone who dared to enter the decaying mansion at the outskirts of the village. One stormy night, a group of friends decided to test the legend, believing it to be nothing more than a sinister tale concocted to keep children away from the eerie mansion. Armed with flashlights and nervous laughter, they crossed the threshold into the abandoned abode. The air inside was thick with the scent of mildew and decay. Dust-covered furniture lay frozen in time, and a creepy collection of dolls lined the shelves, their glassy eyes seemingly following the intruders. The friends laughed off the unease, dismissing it as mere superstition. As they explored deeper into the mansion, strange occurrences began. The dolls' eyes flickered, and eerie giggles echoed through the empty halls. The friends exchanged nervous glances but pressed on, drawn by an unseen force. In the heart of the mansion, they discovered a hidden room filled with lifelike dolls that bore an uncanny resemblance to each of them. Panic set in as the friends realized the curse was real. The doll maker had bound their fates to the dolls. Terrified, they tried to escape, but the doors slammed shut, trapping them inside. The dolls came to life, moving with an unnatural grace. Their porcelain faces contorted into malevolent smiles as they advanced on the trapped intruders. One by one, the friends succumbed to the curse, their souls trapped within the dolls. The once lively mansion now echoed with the haunting laughter of the cursed dolls, a chilling reminder of the price one paid for tempting fate in Marrowbrook. In the quiet town of Crestwood, an antique shop held a mirror with an ominous reputation. The ornate mirror, passed down through generations, was said to reveal more than just one's reflection. It unveiled the darkness within. Local lore told of a young woman named Eliza, who, out of curiosity, gazed into the mirror on a moonlit night. As her eyes met her reflection, a sinister grin curled on the mirror's surface. From that moment, Eliza's life took a dark turn. Driven by an insatiable urge, Elisa became obsessed with the mirror, 
Day by day, her reflections seemed to change, the malevolent smile growing wider with each passing glance. Her once vibrantes dulled into soulless orbs, mirroring the creeping darkness that consumed her. Whispers followed Eliza wherever she went, urging her to embrace the shadows that lurked within. Friends and family grew distant, unable to comprehend the haunting transformation. The town shunned her, and Crestwood became enveloped in an eerie stillness whenever Eliza passed by. One fateful night, drawn to the mirror's sinister allure, Eliza vanished. The antique shop, now abandoned, echoed with the lingering whispers of her tormented soul. The townsfolk avoided the cursed mirror, fearing the reflection of their own hidden demons. Years later, a brave soul decided to investigate the mirror's malevolence. Sarah, a paranormal investigator, entered the abandoned antique shop, determined to uncover the truth. The air grew heavy as she approached the ominous mirror, its surface reflecting a distorted version of reality. As Sarah stared into the mirror, the room plunged into darkness. Whispers surrounded her, and the mirror's surface rippled with ethereal energy. Suddenly, Eliza's tormented face appeared, trapped within the mirror, her hollow eyes pleading for release. Sarah recoiled, but the mirror held her captive. The malevolent grin reflected her deepest fears, and the whispers grew louder, urging her to embrace the darkness. Terrified, Sarah struggled against the unseen force, desperate to break free from the mirror's insidious grasp. The antique shop's silence was shattered by Sarah's screams as the mirror consumed her, leaving behind an empty shell. The cursed mirror, once again, claimed a victim, its surface now holding the tormented reflections of those who dared to peer into the abyss in Crestwood.